Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Big Esco. Tanel Winmore. Man, another episode of the Souls of Liberty show. Uh, this is a special one, especially for us, because we're celebrating hip hop turning 50. You know, man, it's been a hell of a journey, I would say. I was uh, thinking about this earlier because um, me and you are actually featured in the St. Louis Art Museum. Um, shout out to our boy Adrian. Adrian yeah, Walker. Shout out to Adrian, bro. From the V. You know, North Side finest people out here, man. Yeah, you know? man. Been like a mentor for a long time for us, you know, and played a big factor in the hip hop scene and how it is currently. You, you know, know what I mean? So Definitely a forefather for the current. Bro, man. And uh we we are in the hip hop, uh all hip hop picture, you know, uh mimicking the Harlem Renaissance pick and picture has been legendary. taken, you know. So I actually just saw the uh, Nike Turbo post, you know. Cause he had his daughter with him, and yeah, we were standing yeah. there next to bro, and it was just like, damn, like I don't work with so many people in this picture, you know. We don't grew with so many people from this picture, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we all family, you know what I'm saying? Yep, we yep. done Same lived Louis our family. lives together, and it's just like for us to be recognized, and uh, you know, as a community, that means something for it to be in a, you know, a, fifty. You know, I, as much as I love hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I love hip hop and basketball probably the most outside of my family, and it's like that's real. <laughs> if they took a a basketball 50 picture, they wasn't going to call me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They going to have to call me. But the, it's coming. the fact that they took the, you know, hip hop 50 and we, you know, needed to be included, it just mean a lot. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. So, uh, Miss Brown even tagged us or whatever. For real? On yeah, Facebook? Uh, uh, yeah, I think on Facebook, probably. Oh, yeah. man, I gotta she, get on there. she was like, I see you, whatever. Because she, I guess she went to the, you know, to see yeah, it, where her went family to go see or whatever. It. Yeah, That's so, us, man. Yeah. I can't wait to take my mama there and show her, you know, we wasn't just wasting time. You know what I'm saying? We really, we did something. Oh, man, congratulations, man. We made it Thank to the hip-hop 50, couldn't, man. Couldn't need it without you. you know <laughs> we made it to the hip-hop 50, man. You the so, reason I rap still. So. You know, same. You know, ditto. But, no, it's, um, I find it interesting, like, right now in St. Louis, we having another resurgence with Sexy Red. Yeah, yeah. Ali is on, on Vlad. So, like, shout, out, the shout out to Ezo, bro. But, like, earlier... Like early, early in the morning too, maybe late at night, but either way it go, this is dude from Cincinnati or whatever, and, and he basically was coming at Sexy Red on Facebook, like I should have, uh, like he was going to shoot at her, she lucky she made out of town type shit or whatever. Damn. And so, you know, St. Louis niggas got the flame in his yeah, ass yeah, yeah. and shit like on. that, but but yeah, man, that showed me once again how big we are, because I was like, damn, I really can't think of no rapper from Cincinnati. With all due respect, I got a cousin from Cincinnati, you know, I ain't coming for y'all. No, shout out to him, man. You know, but yeah, she had one of our best friends from Cincinnati. <laughs> but like you said, we done been out in the forefront, and this is like our sixth, seventh, eighth international st- star. You know, you know it's what I'm like, saying? It's like, like we got fighters, you know what I mean? Like a fighter come from your city. And then we got battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hitman Holla and them, yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? No, it's we like well we, represented. We St. Got, Louis always We got producers, you know what I mean? We got producers. Um, what else? We got video directors, you know we what got, I mean? We got everything Got here. everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, like I said, like Hockey. looking back on the 50, Football. you know, they said in the, and we're going to give a shout out to East St. Louis here, the ill side. The first time Sugar Hill Gang record was played was yeah. in the Lou. It was on the East side, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the East side. So it's just like, wow, our region, our area, you know what I'm saying? Played a major role in hip hop. One of the first steps and in hip hop. In but that's not crazy because in all of black music, we play major roles. So you I know want to saying? ask you this. Major um, roles. Hip hop. Rest in peace, Chuck Berry. Rest, rest in peace, in, Tina Turner. Man, you know? They, go ahead. Man. They hip hop pioneers Rest too. in peace, baby Huey. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, that's another one. You know, we, yeah. we got a lot of them, man. But go ahead. You know what I mean? I had to get that off. Nah, for real, man. Uh, It's like hip-hop is probably the first music of urban, like, modern cities. You know? Because when you think about the blues, I guess I would say, like, r- music with, black music with words. Because jazz is, like, um theory. You know what I mean? Like every jazz musician interprets something different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when you're doing it, that's like, it's like the, it's almost like the high science of our music, I would say in a way. So like you got the blues, the blues is from the Delta. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. you had to be in the Delta to make the best blues. Now I'm not saying people in other places didn't make the blues, mm-hmm. but it's like, that's where it's the soil. I feel like 
uh, pop. pop. New York is the hip hop. You, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like mm-hmm. pop R and B to me was really created in Detroit because you got rhythm and blues. You know what I mean? It's just a certain style because rock and roll is just faster rhythm and blues. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But then like modern pop R and B, like that really spoke to black people all across. You could live in the suburbs. You could live in the hood. Jackson 5 spoke to Yeah, I feel like you. that's when we really crossed over. You know what I'm saying? On, on a different level. You, you know, know what I mean? Because like Ray Charles and, and they was hella tight. And they sound. Like you said, all of those people were from around the country, but they congregated in Detroit and built right. that with Mr. Gordy. Right. It, it, you know, it so. hit the apex. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because James Brown was doing rhythm and blues. You know, Ray Charles was doing rhythm yeah. and blues. It's arguable that James Brown was the first rapper, arguably. You know, in terms of you know how he was coming his stage show, you know what I'm saying. I have, I would have to say I, he influenced you know, Michael Jackson. And George Clinton Michael Jackson now. came out the end of that era. You was talking like about. I'm getting in a lot more into like funk now, mm-hmm. just kind of revisiting them because they really inspire a lot of the people in the '90s. You know, what I mean, Dr. Dre and them in the '80s, they really like. I was listening to Pimp a Butterfly, mm-hmm. and George Clinton was on there, and I'm just like, that's one of the hard. That's the hardest track bro. on there to me, but alive when he was on. Yeah, uh, but it's another track that he's on. Okay, Euphoria across my mind, mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. never gay. Like George Clinton is on there, you know okay. what I'm saying? So I'm just like, damn, he on tracks with Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Like George Clinton is like super influential. Yeah, but saying all that to say, then you get to like you get past the '70s when America kind of crossed this threshold from the '60s. Like it, I feel like America for the first time realized like, oh, like we're crazy. Like we're in the Vietnam War. It's like drugs. You got hippies in a different kind of level. Like commercially, that's when you got like short dresses on TV. Is that the first time it was ever a revolutionary movement of that magnitude in the country? I feel like the I feel like the change is TV. In a similar way, how now social media people feel like heightened things. Like in the seventies, TV went to another level. Like color TV changed the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you were at home watching other people on TV. What? Yeah, out of nowhere. That's from, of from nowhere. the radio. That's that's a big jump. That's radio the, to TV is a big jump. And then you got black and white, and now you got color. So then, by the eighties, by the eighties, you got Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Magic Johnson would be a wonder, like post Martin Luther King for black people. You know what I'm saying? Like post MLK. What has our life been like? And the best. And represent- that's been hip hop. It's been hip hop. It's been hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, yeah. from our sector, listening to Ali tell his story. You know what I mean? He's a, a pioneer here for St. Louis. Yeah, man. That was tough. That was a tough land. It gives me fuel to keep the souls together because it's like, that's the one thing that, and they brothers, so they going to go through ups and downs. Yeah, they sure. story not done. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's just like, man, the outward, it's so many groups that have to go through outward turmoil and they love each other. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. We all we got. We got that from them. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, and, and that's but but to your point, I'm glad we could recognize that, see that, and hopefully move past that. You know what I'm saying? I hope, like I said, I hope I hope Nelly just take a step and do something about it. Because I mean, it is. I, I don't know how they feel. I'm not in their business, right. but I will say, as a city, because ain't nobody it talked hurt. about this. You know what I'm saying? It so hurt. I it ain't hurt. heard nobody speak on this, but yeah, bro. Y'all, y'all the world to us, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, a nigga lying if he's saying that Nelly ain't have some type of influence on, on them and that ain't... First rappers, especially if you a millennial on down. Now, if you older than that, then fine. If you a Gen X and you hating on a Gen X nigga, okay. But, you know... Even that's lame. Yeah, that's lame too. But we can't control that. But what I'm saying is I want to see them be able to get... To have what we just saw with Hip Hop 50 with this performance. Right. Because in truth, y'all was supposed to be up there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slow down. Everybody supposed to be hitting their shit because we influence culturally. People don't talk about it, but we influence the Midwest, influence the country when it comes to this music shit. Yeah. When it comes to how niggas dressing, even now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we start we kind of started the Jersey way, I feel like. I, I we can say that. Like did I mean uh, it, 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 I don't know. New York. Uh, we had a big part in it. We had a big to part of the point, forces. To your point, to your forces point, where they are we now. We played our role. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. We, we had our piece our role. in the overall puzzle of hip hop that we all know we came got a from the Mecca. We you got know? a piece. And so And that means something. And that's why I feel like I'm I want to um I'm looking at the next 50, and it's like the people who are a part of the first 50 still play a role in the next 50. Cause I plan on being here when hip hop turn a hundred. Period. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, 
I play a role in that. This is my. I, it, and it, that's the difference between 50, basketball, I would say, from the two things we love. Yeah. You see LeBron working with Cooper Flag and them, and Jason yeah. working with Cooper Flag, uh, LeBron working with we the other African guy. I can't think of his name. But, you know, we got to be there. It is not saying, and not to take away from the people who are doing that in the culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's something that even going back to Ali, what he said he was striving to do. Mm-hmm. And now that's what we trying to do. Yep. That's the reason why we releasing our album on Friday, Shameless Plug. You know? You know? Twenty thousand dollars return, return of the, of the gods. gods, but yeah, but man, I watching Lil Wayne, bro. Like, cause I be I be critical on Lil Wayne. You know, we all could be critical of our family. We only but critical of things because we, we love. love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. Is like the Kobe, like you said a while back. He the Kobe, a rap, bro. Yeah, you know, and it's good to just see all these different performances. It's interesting though. I think something a criticism people have to take off of Lil Wayne is like Lil Wayne never let go of the bars no matter what the content yeah, was he was rapping he was always trying to bring the bars and it's just like i feel like that was lost amongst his um disciples to a certain degree of, i would say thug of, thug took thug got it i would give thug that yeah i give thug that but thug, took, thug be rapping in my he opinion. be rapping and, no, he, thug and he's coming rapping. under the Lil wayne act no, yeah. and that's the that's the only real representation that I could say, and Uzi might could go under there too. I feel like Uzi got some Wayne, heavy yeah. Wayne influence. But I guess we, his best one, obviously, is Drake. You know true, what I'm saying? True, like true, Drake true. is the is Drake the broke the mold. Drake is yeah disciple. I mean, you know, even watching the hip hop is uh fifty. Shout out to Nas and Mass Appeal for throwing that um event in New in Yankee Stadium. Peace to the God. You know what I mean? Nasty like Nas. You know who has a crazy run that's underrated, and I feel like watching Lil Wayne perform made me realize that he beat. He was the number one at that class, but like Ti, like Ti run a like from Man. trap music king Ti versus Tip. He was Paper rapping. Trail. Like that's a crazy. But one. I, I will honestly say for me, Ti, I don't know what he did, how he did it, bro. But I am not as big of a fan as I, I just stopped following was, him. Bro. Once I stopped following him more recently, yeah. and some of his music came on, I hadn't heard Man, him talk in a while. It just don't touch me as the way it paused. You know what I'm saying? But it don't touch me like I used to, I bro. Know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not saying he don't got no hits, but I just I don't know. I'm not. I don't know what as you're into hearing. to Ti as I used to be. I mean, I'm not listening to Jeezy every day either. But when it come on, you know. I'm here for it. A classic. Yeah, but I, no, I'm not taking away from it. But it's some music that I can listen to. It ain't aged as well as the people so that give I me, hold. So give me your classes. most classic. What's what's super cla- Like give me give me five classic albums that just haven't they age just like beautifully, lifetime. just beautifully hip hop. I'm sure we Lauren got some. Hill. That's hip hop. That's, that's hip hop. That's, that's hip hop. That's, well that's probably me. the the that's best, the best cross genre album within yeah, hip hop. But she she but it's she is hip hop on there though. I can't even say the best though because Missy Elliott's super duper fly. But I I, I I edge it out as the best because of the content. The content was like super deep about love, about like it was a real yeah. It was you know what I'm saying? Like it was deep as It was hell. a body of work. The title, Miss Education of Lauren Hill, based off the book. It's yeah, just it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. It's so a lot it, of bars. It was a 10. That. She got a, yeah, you know, it's a 10. I can't take no points off of that That's paper. One. You know That's what I'm saying? One. That's a good one. Uh, and then especially with the era we in now with women rap, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like. She said it's funny how she, she at the top of that. Shines. You know what I mean? She Michael Jordan you might over win, there. Son. Come on, Lauren. Man. <laughs> oh, she was going crazy uh, the whole album. Another, for me personally, I'm going to just, I'm going to say the blueprint. Okay. Because I'm a Hove guy and I wouldn't be keeping it a hundred percent with okay. you if I didn't put Hove. And I think that's that's the album where he solidified where he was going mm. musically for me. You know what I'm saying? And for people like around my age, like I said, obviously I feel like that was his like yeah, definitive. Like he the other ones were like real good seasons, but that one was just like a championship. Yeah, like it's the just run, like yeah. it solidified the run. Like like that was like when Iverson lost to the Lakers that year. But he hey, that year was just crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To where he ain't even win, but he's like he won a ring. Yeah. You know, it was one of them. Um I gotta put some Kanye in there. It's tough to pick an album off the top of my head right now, I but I feel you, like I give you, yeah, you can just pick any Kanye. Yeah, I give you Kanye, that. Kanye, that's you that. too hard to pick one. Uh, I'm gonna say Get Rich or Die Trying for my generation. I can't speak before I didn't if I didn't experience it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, so Get Rich or Die Trying is one for sure, for sure. So you hear that today? It still give you the same. It's still the same feelings, okay. the same ethos. It's, I like that. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one. That's a good one. Um. 
What's, an, what's another good one? It's a real good one, actually. And I'm going to say Biggie, bro. Ooh, I For was going to say that. I, I mean, was going to say I mean, that. It's so many. Um, Outcast got some. I just said five. We just yeah, said five. But I mean, yeah, it's tough to, you know, wind it down. But I'm going to say Biggie because... Biggie didn't even get to evolve and become the man that he was gonna become. And for him to still speak on shit that could touch, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whether the content, and that's another one, you could talk about the content wasn't the best and this, that, and the third, but he was so creative and how he went about nah, doing Biggie. what he did. It was so cohesive. Shout out to Diddy, the production. So ready was to on die. a different level. That's what you're talking about, ready to die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I like that one. Yeah, that's it's um that was probably the earliest of albums I was thinking of for me. Like yeah, when you making die. an album, it's just that that cohesiveness, that like a universe. You know what I'm saying? It's like its own world. On, on mine, I Whereas think. Whereas like with Ti to give you the difference, and why we got into this conversation, it was just like a collection of songs to me more than it was just like now the, the live your life one. That, that last paper trail was really good. I would, I but would I don't argue, think production wise, he was like it compares to those when you other get a things. Chance, listen to trap music. I go back and listen to trap music. Go back and listen. That's the one. If I was gonna, if I was gonna put my neck out for any of okay, them, okay, yeah, that was the music. first. When you that talk was about first. Atlanta, mm-hmm. you talk about Atlanta where it is right now. Play some, play some gun, play some baby, play trap music. It's, yeah. it's that's what I would say. Yeah, he I got mean, Kanye beats on there. You know, I he got take, Jazzy. I Faye. can't take it from Ti, and I might like I say it might just be his personal brand or me just right, 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 seeing right, right. more of him. But it just, it. it's like I just don't. I'm, I'm just the music saying. was good though. I can't I can't front on the music, I'm, but I don't think I'm it's on the level him. of them other five that I just say. I think it's a different tier. Okay, but it is what it is for Atlanta, and that's you know what I'm saying. Right, but I wouldn't. Like I don't put Ti with Outkast, and them no disrespect as as far as like lyrical ability and stuff like that. He could rap, but the music and, and to me, music. Okay, yeah, the music in Atlanta, they on the same level. And mm-hmm. in, in, in Atlanta, rap, they on the same level. Like you know what I mean? Everybody, it's a whole bunch of people in the Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but you, it's but it's you niggas in the, in the front of the Hall of Fame. It's niggas no, in these saying. different rooms in there. And that's right, all right. I'm saying. I mean, I'm just saying though, like it's like, but like you in the Hall of Fame. Like we not. I, I can't yeah. really play semantics. I can't, I'm not, I only because I don't want to take nothing away from bro. Only because that room is not that big. But like you said, he, like Young him, Jock Jeezy is not in that is in room. There. You know what I'm saying? Ti Jeezy probably Gucci both in, in that room. Gucci in that room. I don't know. Like I don't know if two chains in there. I I gotta give it to bro. I think he just slid in. I mean, two chains. Yeah, bro. Okay. I can't say that's what I'm saying. I can't say that I enjoy Ti more than I enjoy Two Chains per se. I was just say Two Chains ain't had the length of the career. No, that he had, had, but he was around back then. He just didn't, you know. Right. And he been more relevant than Ti done been in this era. Right. I mean, that's so, when Two Chains came out though. Two yeah. Chains came out in 2010. Didn't so he? I can't hold against him that he wasn't on early. I'm just saying it's the same shit. So but yeah, man. We just all over the place. But yeah, but the 50th hip hop. It's been love, man. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it as much as I did, and I'm glad we were able to reflect and appreciate. Why didn't you think the that? artist? I don't know. I mean, I didn't have, no, I didn't really have no expectation for. It. Like, I knew it was coming up. We've never had a 50th birthday. Yeah, I wasn't like <laughs> overexcited per se. You know what I'm saying? I was right. just living my life. But when it hit, it was like, damn. Yeah, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life, I mean, and I'm, I'm glad people, that I'm back doing it. Hopefully, people will just take more of an appreciation for it, and like. I think as a group, we should stop the narrative around it dying. And we and also, yeah, and because we because, bad about that. Because it's like, we don't want not, that either. Because it's not. And we got to start ridding the stigma of it. Because I know a lot come with it. But to be honest, our music reflect our, our, us as a people. And and that might not be a pretty mirror to look into all the time. Well, if you you know well, what I'm saying, say taking this. a step back, but it is who we are. I think there's a more nuanced and conversation about when people talk about the industry. Right, because Sexy Red and No Name album came out, and they could be talking about they could they are presenting two different ideas, mm-hmm. and they both are true. You know what I'm saying? Sexy Red is really being herself, and that's how she really feel. Show your pussy. No Name really feel like Jay Z and them. You know they capitalists, and you know I be reading books. That's what I really be on. And she really read the books and do the knowledge and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Both of those things are true. When you look at it, you know, as a, if you're a novice fan. You say it's only sexy red out there, but that's just not true. It's just not the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because in the same token, you could say all St. Louis music is is high speed music, and that's not true. So why why is sexy red so much more popular? Because the industry is feeding her. Period. It's the machine. That's not what people want. It's the machine is feeding her. I don't know. No, it's what the machine don't want. That I can't tell you. You know, but the machine don't want that. We know that. 
Mm-hmm. Jay Z said, otherwise he just rap like Talib in them. That's how he rap now. <laughs> you know, say so he rap like a conscious rapper now, because mm-hmm. that's how he really feel. But you got to sell records because we're doing business. When you want to play that game, or unless you're playing the art game, what is hip hop? Because on, because Lupe us. just dropped the album this year. I, I listened to his shit. That shit was like, what is hip hop without? The industry now, nah, like, 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 let's go into like you know, just a theory. Like, if the industry isn't what it is, culture and art, because it's always naturally happened. It's a tight nigga right now in Texas that rap hella tight with a slang and represent the mo and do all this other shit and H Town. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's a cold ass nigga in New York right now spitting his ass off in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? It's that. It's why we rap. It's the culture. It is yeah. us. It is, like I said, to be in America at this time under these conditions. Now, if the conditions change, maybe we start making different music. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, maybe what we own will change. That's crazy. It's like, out of all of this trauma, this is what we got for y'all. We got 50 years of hip hop. We got almost 100 years of jazz, I guess now. You know what I'm saying? We got, because people still, like I said, still making jazz. People still, people make, still making, that's what I'm saying. making rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, you know, you got to go find it, though. The radio ain't bringing it to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what people got to get over. The radio not bringing it to you. So how bad do you really want to listen to niggas rap good? Mick Jenkins just dropped the album. I came out went yesterday. Uh, Friday, yeah, yeah. Okay, I knew it was coming out. Just, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's kind of my point. I gotta though. check that out. So it's just like it's there. You just gotta go dig for it a little bit harder. So like the curators, the DJs, you know, take a little bit more risk. The problem is. People who don't go listen to new music, like people our age when they go out, shout to Janae. I'm gonna use her as my guinea pig here. Okay. She wants to listen to like 07. You know what I'm saying? She wants to listen to the greatest hits of her life, the greatest rap hits of her life. She not really into the oh, I'm gonna play uh Babyface Ray down the bag. I can't drop Babyface Ray at the really brunch spot because everybody don't know it. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like, oh, I can't really drop the V's in the spot because uh now in St. Louis, you could drop any Pooch Heisty, any thug nigga rap. Niggas love it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you gotta, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really wanna hear, uh, drop the dream. You know what I'm saying? Drop so and so. Drop, it's going down. Drop so. That's what people wanna hear. Me personally, I don't need to hear rap's greatest hits when I go out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we all about pushing that new shit and setting the wave. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really want to get your opinion on this because you was a real, you was real spicy. We was talking about that chance to rapper. Oh yeah. How do you feel about bro, you know, having getting his flowers right now, you know, at this early stage of his career, you know, at chance 30 the rapper whatever. again. Chicago legend. Mm-hmm. Cannot take that from him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, like I said, I know what's for me and what's not for me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So like when you was you was you was a 10 day fan. I remember you played yeah. 10 day. I, I tried to listen to it. I was like, yeah, I don't really like this for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After I came out, can't deny that. Mm-hmm. Action Bronson on it, Donald Glover, Vic Mensa gave a crazy song, Twister, all mm-hmm. the production. Can't deny that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tight. Mm-hmm. After that, it got rough. He had some good other success outside he had some of that. Good songs, you know what I'm saying? After you know that, what I'm saying? You know, but that's but, what I'm saying. Like some people just have that one tight season. He won the championship. You know what I'm saying? Like this yeah. could probably feel. I will say, with he Chance, won the what championship. Chance did was, and he's gonna do amazing. the show in New York. Amazing. He's gonna do the show in L. A. And that's what I would hope. Like listening to him rap now and what he pushing them going to Ghana. Shout out to them. You know, Vic and them and everybody doing that shit. Shout out to Dez. You know, it's shout like, out to Dez Money, man. We all we got. Bro. You know what I mean? So it's like it hit different when we all we got. You know, yeah. so it's like from that standpoint, I think the message and stuff that he doing. But I think he just got to decide like how he coming with the raps. You know where he at? To me, he caught in that in between of like where Wale was. When it was a period where it was like Wale could like go further down the rap hole, and, and niggas stuck. maybe not like I just said the brunch folks not finna listen to your music no more until you come up with a girl song or something. But you're making great music. And for people who did that, currency. Even Wiz. Wiz stayed in his lane. So I'm going to get real. Only you probably remember this. Okay. He had some song that he dropped. The Heidi. Uh, dropped the Heidi. Yeah, he changed his music his style. Yeah. And if he would have went that path, we don't know what it would have been, but I think he still would have been just as big. He might have just had a different fan base, maybe. Yeah. But it just... 
I don't know. I feel like his career has just been too political, bro. Were you from you know Chicago? What I'm saying? He's had a real political, the way he's moved and, 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 and finessed. I don't know about Atlanta or Detroit or if you come out of L.A. or New York or Florida. But when you come out of Chicago, if you're not straight thug, you got a large white fan base. Yeah. And I feel like, even like with No Name, everybody on her head about the jail electronic like no, shit. Like no other place. Like, I feel like only it's Chicago strange, niggas be it? getting white. White people love Chicago niggas, bro. I don't. Isn't that interesting? It is very interesting because it's just like they could just be I don't world feel renowned. Like ASAP but I do feel like Chance, kind of, you got to give Chance credit for opening that up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I can't really say. I didn't. He the first nigga I saw do the world twice yeah. off a of mixtape. Off the tape. And it wasn't a ton of songs. You know, it wasn't like he had, like it was like a 20, it was, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're just going down to hip hop. Tyler, how much time? Are we, where are we at? Okay, this is perfect. I got, we're going to just go back and forth for a second, some rap shit. Okay. Who is like your most underrated rapper, excluding yourself? Dom K. Dom K. Why? Because. I mean, Dom Kennedy in my personal top five. Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm, just, I'm just saying it out loud. So we know, you know, Dom Kennedy. I think he's people from the crib too. You know what I'm saying? But either way it go, uh, I feel like he's from one of the biggest cities in the world or the, yeah. or the Western Hemisphere or what have you. You know Whatever. what I'm saying? Yeah. And he done kept it 100 and built his own brand. Yeah. From the, off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like from nothing. And we got to witness that the whole time through the internet. You feel me? We got to see, bro. And people don't realize the integral part musically and culturally that he was playing, even with like Nick. You know what I'm saying? Like we watched, like we were really onto the West Coast wave super hard. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Don was bigger than Nick. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Don was bigger than Kendrick. I remember when Overdose was big. He got Kendrick. songs with all of them. You know what I'm saying? He got songs with all of them. And and he's, they all got so that's songs why with I say he's the most underrated because I it's that. like like it's almost like how we like the Dom of St. Louis. Where it's like if we look at the picture, we got songs with 15 of them niggas in there, maybe. Mm. We got songs with more people in that picture, and we'll continue to have more songs with people in that picture yeah. than anybody. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't put us. Right, you know what I'm saying. If you if they if they was picking niggas, yes, underrated. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But niggas know though, and that's how Dom is. It's like you, everybody knows some Dom and got some Dom and they shit. Maybe it might be two songs, it might be two albums, it might be. But you, you might have got to shit. the point where you feel like, oh, I don't like the direction Dom going in. I don't feel where he coming from. Right. But Dom be being himself. That's real. Shout out to Chip, man. I can't wait to watch Chip in the MLB. Oh yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure, for sure. He gonna be uh, a, a partner. <laughs> Dang, what was your most uh, pivotal, like, I mean, and you said the five kind of like, but like moment in rap where you, like it was like something that was hip hop and you was like, damn, that that really. I mean, I got it. Kanye dropping was one, but I got to give it to Nelly again because I yeah. never forget getting off the bus and walking over a block into country grammar. You know I, what I'm saying? I like, I, they, they, they hit me different because it was just like, damn, like I'm. I'm from here. This my yeah, like my neighbor, my neighborhood is on TV, yeah. like real life. Like I couldn't get in the house because y'all shooting the videos. Shit, places you know that you like when they would shoot videos in the loop and stuff like that is like places that I frequent are on television. That's so cool. Yeah, so I see how people yeah, like so from that New York impact was different. And LA had pride on a different level because it's like yeah, if I was from where Snoop was from, it's and like, we got that same pride here in St. Louis. That's yeah, why I got to You got to show sexy red love because every song North Side, she she got you know what I'm saying she gonna. Put that on there on purpose from the north, just like how something. niggas in New York. You know, they, anything you say about the Bronx and this and Queens, that it can be yep. the word you wear your hat. All but they always on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, if you from St. Louis, you know the difference between a South Side nigga. You know, different between a West Side nigga. You know what a U City nigga like. You know what a Hazelwood nigga like. Everybody got their own little you know? situation. So but we we got that pride. Shout out to us, man. Shout out to the North so Side. So yeah, but yeah, I got to give it to you know to bro. I would agree with you or whatever, but that's a that's a good one because I can't. I experienced that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I was there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, that's super real. What's the best Kanye album? <sighs> like he stopped, like he don't make no more albums no, right I'm, now. I heard you. I'm just trying to like uh damn, that's tough. For me, I gotta keep it 55th Street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? 808s and heartbreaks for oh, me. Nah. 808s and heartbreaks. For me, to be honest. Only because the rest of them 
Only because it's so different. It was the first time he did something that was so different. Yeah. And I enjoyed it so much. No, it was crazy. You man. know what I'm saying? So it was just like, and it, it was hip hop in the sense that everybody wanted to rap over that shit. I remember what it was like when he dropped. Uh, right. Hey, hey, hey. Don't yeah, say don't you say will, will, whatever. Yeah. And everybody rapped over that shit. It was just different. He took the game a different. Like he showed me something. That now, I hadn't seen before. Pause. I will say, outside of Nelly, uh, Good Fridays was one of my favorite. I would have to put that up there because I was used a to good be time super too. amped to get online and wait for yeah. Kaya to drop. That was like shit. the end of the blog era. That was the hardest shit ever. That was but, the end um, of the blog. It was like that was the uh, 808s Heartbreak was the beginning of, the, of, the, of it. Yeah, that probably peaked it. But yeah. um, I would probably, uh, I think mine is Life of Pablo. Mm, that's enough. man because <laughs> uh because life of pablo you got you the, thought he was dead he came father back father stretched my hands you got 30 hours no you, it's, got you no don't gotta tell LA. me it's you, like uh real friends oh my god <laughs> bro we was in la the we first were, yeah i never we forget were that in one. LA, hey, that might bro. be my moment to the first question with the nelly joint that was when we went to uh the one in la bro and listened to it live for the first time bro that Yo, shit was... So you know what? We're gonna end this episode. I want to thank all the versions of Kanye. You know, Kanye, you really played a big role in our life. Uh, Man, you for know, sure. I hope you're doing good. They, 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 they saying crazy stories about you. I see you got another white lady, so maybe that means you're making some raps. I don't know, but <laughs> you know, what? I, hey, man, he got a white lady. He be, he be getting it going, but. I just want to say thank you, Kanye. What kind of white lady is she? She like her. Because Kim Kardashian is like, well, she what is Kim Kardashian? Not, not a Kim, more of an Amber Rose type white lady. Let's ghetto. Amber Rose is black, ain't she? Oh damn! Then she ended up fighting over there that too long ago. Yeah, man. man. Amber Rose ain't black. Okay. But Go point ahead. being, you know, what I'm saying thank you, Kanye. Thank nah, you, Amber Nelly. Rose not black. It's thank crazy. you, Jay. Thank you, Rakim. Thank you, uh, Wu Tang. Thank, thank you, Queen Latifah. MC Light. Buster Rhymes. Man. It's Thank too you, many Eve, people. DMX, 50. You know what I'm saying? Thank, Thank you, you to the business people, the niggas, the street niggas Chris that protected Lighty. the rappers. Rest in peace, Chris Lighty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Peasy, Lenny and G. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. in our hip hop story for, for sure. sure. Shout out to Julian With Key. With all due respect. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to who else? Uh, Pretty Russ. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna end it right there, man. It's the souls. Shout out to Souls of Liberty. Cause we back, like for real this time. Like for real this time. So. And y'all finna get this work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know now, man. You know it's like we kind of the best at making songs from here. 